This is a carbon fibre tripod from KNF Concept. The model number is TC2534. Let's review it. So now we've already taken a good look at it, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Just before we get going, it's very important for me to point out the fact that KNF Concept actually sent me this um, tripod to review for them. But uh, before you start thinking that I'm going to be biased towards KNF, I did actually say in a very polite email that I sent them that I would only agree to review it if they would accept an honest review from me, which they duly did. Um, totally understand if you think that I'm going to be slightly biased, but uh, I'm, I'm not. If anything, uh, they're going to be slightly cross with me because they actually sent me this about three weeks ago. And it's only just now have I got around to doing a video. And the reason being is because I've actually been using it non-stop every day for the last three weeks, both in the studio and out in the field. So even on the B-roll, if you see that it looks a little bit dirty, that's because it's been used at the sea, it's been used in mud, it's been used obviously in the studio as well, but I've actually put it to its tests, or I've used it uh, to the best of my ability in the way I would normally use my ordinary tripod, and I have done so for the last three weeks. Let's talk about the packaging and the contents. Uh, the bag is very, very nice, very, very sturdy, very, very solid. There's some fantastic zips on there. Well, they feel very sturdy, they feel very good. I won't use this bag. I would never use a bag for my tripods and the reason being because I like to stick it on the back of my camera bag. But if you, if this is important for you as a user, then this bag is absolutely fantastic. Now let's have a look at the accessories that they send. You get a nice little bag, okay, a spare adjuster and an Allen key. And my favorite part of all is this. And the idea of this is the actual shaft here that goes obviously up and down, as you can imagine, here on the tripod can be replaced by this very small one. It literally takes 30 seconds to replace. It's a screw and a screw and it's replaced. And the reasons why we would use this is so when the legs are spread right out and the camera needs to be as low to the ground as possible then of course this long shaft is going to be above the ground so no matter how low you get your tripod down the shaft is going to be so high but of course you now replace it with this and without messing around by putting angles and switching your uh, spinning this around and dangling this from upside down like you can do with a lot of tripods They've just simply replaced it with a centerpiece that's very short. Sure. I like that. Well done, KNF. This is the tripod that I've been using for the past four, maybe five years, perhaps even longer. This is the uh, good old trusty and solid Manfrotto tripod. 
uh, put the model number up there because I'm not actually sure what the model number is and the head number and so on and so forth but it's the uh, traditional head that you find on most tripods and listen that is the sound of a well used <laughs> well used tripod and this has been my trusty tripod like I said for quite some time now and it is such a sturdy solid piece of kit and this probably unfairly but this is what I'm going to be comparing this to and obviously because this is what I use especially for landscapes but it is so so heavy so heavy well let's start off by talking about the head and it's the first time I've used a ball joint head and I wasn't really sure how I'd get on with it I've used the traditional three-way head and have done like I say for the last number of years um, I've got to tell you I'm very impressed with it this is a Canon 5D Mark III um, so it's a fairly heavy camera and it sits there wherever I put it at a slight turn absolutely rock solid so as much as it's the first time I've ever used one of these heads I am very very impressed with it very impressed even the horizontal movement on it nice and smooth it seems to be some form of dampness system in there and that's a very smooth motion very very smooth motion I do like that you have the ability to turn your camera into a portrait orientation as well there's a small groove cut in the side which is probably normal for ball heads and it sits there rock solid and I've taken a few shots whilst at the seaside as well using a two three minute exposure with a Lee 10 stopper on there and the results have been just perfect and when I used this last as well at the seaside it was a fairly windy day and a lot of movement very impressed with that ball head very impressed there's one slight minor issue I have with the whole tripod in that on the back here of the head you've got a level and I like that which is quite nice but there isn't a level on the tripod on the tripod that I use uh, which is this one here okay then you'll notice that there's actually a level if you can see that there's a level there on the actual tripod itself and a level on the head and the only downside to this tripod if you're a landscape photographer that likes shooting panels is that what's really important for a landscape photographer that shoots panels is to make sure that your tripod is absolutely level and you do that obviously I have been doing that in the past with my Manfrotto tripod by using the level that's actually on the tripod itself and there isn't one on here and it's a bit it's, it's a bit it's a bit of a shame that actually because if I'm going to find fault with this tripod at all well it's only a fault if you're a landscape photographer that likes shooting panos it's really important for me to have that on here and it's not on here which is a real shame um, but apart from that it's a really really sturdy sturdy tripod and I absolutely love it so there's three slight adjustments on there like so and all I do is grab it with one hand one twist and they all pull out so from there I can twist twist and twist and that is absolutely rock solid so very very impressed with that the legs pull out then you've got a lever here and they lock in place and a lever again and they lock in place and of course for storage or for carrying they'll pop all the way up so that it condenses down to a much much smaller package than what I'm used to using so my overall feel for this tripod getting straight down to the nitty-gritty is I absolutely love it I think it's a very good looking tripod I think it's nice and comfortable and it feels as if there's a lot of quality whilst you're holding this in your hands I do like it it feels rock solid um, very easy to pop up very easy to put down I love the short center pole 
that they offer as well. I do like that. It's the first time I've used the ball head, like I said earlier, but I absolutely love it and think that it's brilliant. So with just the one slight flaw for me personally as a landscape photography, which is the missing level on the actual tripod itself. Um, I can't say enough good things about this tripod. And I really, I know you might not believe me, but I'm really not saying this because KNF actually sent me this tripod. It just really, really is. And I imagine that the Manfrotto version of this, which is the carbon fiber version, will be super, super expensive. So what I'd say is if you're in the market for a carbon fiber lightweight tripod, that's very, very sturdy and feels good to use with a nice ball head, then thumbs up from me.